Hi everyone, I'm Alex Isaacs, an educational technology coach and former middle school math teacher based in Long Branch, New Jersey. Today, I'm thrilled to guide you through a quick video walkthrough of the extraordinary AI-powered video and audio editing platform, Rask AI. Join me as we explore this cutting edge technology tool and I'll demonstrate how it can enhance content creation by making videos more accessible and inclusive for multilingual learners and their families. So without any further ado, let's dive into how quickly Rask AI translates content with just a few clicks. Let's get going. So here we are on the dashboard of Rask AI. One thing I really want to point out right at the start is how simple the user interface is. This translates to basically all of the different screens involved on this platform. You can see that you are allotted a certain number of minutes with Rask. And you can also see that I've taken two videos and I've translated them into Japanese and German previously. But what this video is for is I'm going to show you from start to end how to translate a video and give you some ideas on how to use it if you are a teacher or trying to reach a broader audience by translating your videos into different languages. So you'll have a little bit of a different experience as compared to me because when you first log in and sign up with Rask, you're going to receive a mini walkthrough with prompts that are going to show you how to upload and then translate your video. So one thing that I really like once again is how simple the user interface is. You don't have to be an expert to use this. You can see that you have the option of inserting Google Drive or YouTube links or videos that you have downloaded. Now for the purposes of today's mini walkthrough, I'm going to click here and upload a video that I have on my desktop. So this was a video that I created for my students when I taught math. I was a middle school math teacher in grade eight and I taught many emerging bilingual students who were just starting to learn English. So I really was always trying to make my content as accessible as possible. And if I had Rask while I was a math teacher, I feel like I could have formed even more significant bonds with my multilingual learners and their families. So once you upload your file or select your link to upload, you're then going to name your project. I'm going to say functions because that's what this math video is on. You could have auto detect as how many speakers are in the video, but considering it's just me providing a math walkthrough, I'm going to hit one. RAS does a great job of determining the language in the video, but I'm simply going to scroll down and select English. And then I'm going to want to translate this into Spanish. We're going to click translate. So you can see that we went from uploading the video. Now it's performing the transcription portion. One of the great features of Rask AI is that as it's translating and setting up your video with the languages that you chose, it's also creating a full transcript for your original language and your translated language. So it really gives you the opportunity to make some great and easy edits before the final product is created. And while this happens, I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I would recommend as a teacher, how I would use this. I would have made my math videos more accessible to my learners and their families by putting it into their native language. I feel like it also would have taken a lot of the pressure off of my colleagues who I had to use as a extension of myself to translate when I was making phone calls or sharing videos or checking to see if the translations I was getting from Google were accurate or not. Now I can safely say that any translation that I've done in Spanish I have run by people who are fluent in the language and they have complimented Rask for how accurate and the intonation that is kept between the original and the translated video. So you can see that we're progressing through the process here and sooner than later we're going to have a page of transcripts, one in the original language, one in the second language, and then you're going to be able to make edits. So while this transcription process is taking place, you can actually click on the video as it's going, and then you'll get a little progress meter right here. So now that my math video has been uploaded and translated, we get to the transcription screen. On the left side, you'll see that that column has all of the original language from the video that I uploaded. And then on the right side, you see that it is my translated language of Spanish. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, many of the different languages on Rask AI have the ability to clone your voice so that the translated audio sounds like you, but you also have different types of bots that you can choose from to read your transcription. So for example, let's click on Sam really quick.
un rápido zorro marrón salta sobre el perro perezoso. For our purposes today, I'm going to keep it on clone because I want to keep my intonation, my tone of voice, if I were still in the classroom teaching my students. So for me, I'm going to now take a look over here on the right side where you see original video and translated video. I'm going to hit play to just provide a brief intro to my original English video on functions. Hello, eighth grade, and welcome to a tutorial on writing linear functions from tables. But now we're going to go into the translated video. And one of the things that most impressed me as I've used Rask AI is its ability to match your voice with the translated audio. So let's pay a quick listen. Hola, octavo grado, y bienvenidos a un tutorial sobre la escritura de funciones lineales a partir de tablas. So that for me is the thing that most separates Rask AI from any other video editing tool. The ability to A, get an accurate transcript by simply uploading a video and then being able to match your voice with their AI and keeping that tone and intonation consistent for your students and their families. Now, if I were uploading a video that had me actually talking to you, you would have the ability to redub the video and have your lip sync with the new language that you translated your video into. So at this point, you can go back to your main dash. If you click on any of your previously translated videos, you get brought right back into the transcription page. But at this point, I would go to download, go to video. Again, you could see that you have options of how you export your video. I would download my video, and then I would be placing that wherever my emerging bilingual students and their families were looking at the math information that I was giving them. So I hope that this brief walkthrough convinced you that Rask AI is a tool well worth your time to check out and really explore, especially if you're dealing with people who do not speak English as their primary language. If you have any questions and would like to reach out to me, follow up with me on X at Mr. Underscore Isaacs Underscore Math. But more than anything, I hope you take the time to explore Rask AI to see what it can do for you and your students. Have a great day, everybody.